Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the homestead. In today's video, I want to talk about the Caternix quail and why they're not laying any eggs for me. And so I know a lot of people ask these questions, you know, why are my quail laying any eggs? What's going on? Are they sick? Are they done laying eggs? What are they doing? So as you can tell by my attire, uh, it is not warm outside. It is the middle of January. And so I don't have much daylight during the day. And one of the biggest reasons quail don't lay any eggs is because they don't have enough daylight. They need anywhere between 12 to 14 hours a day of daylight to lay regularly. Um, I have, a lot of people like to lean on the side of 14 hours and that is going to give you more reliable results, but I have seen them lay pretty regularly with only 12 hours of light a day. What I've done is I got this light off of Amazon and it is like a, a um, solar light, why can't I think of the words? It's a solar light uh, and it has a timer that's built in. So it comes on at sunset and it stays on for the set amount of time or all night long, whatever you want it to do. And so I actually have mine unplugged uh, and I'll get into the reason why soon, but it has a solar panel. Um, you can see it over here. This solar panel um, that, you know, obviously acts as a solar panel and it powers the light. Uh, it does have a remote to kind of try to switch uh, the time modes. It's not super intuitive. You kind of have to look up some of the reviews and read uh, further detailed instructions on how to use it. So it's not uh, super intuitive, but it works. And it's a relatively cheap option uh, for like a remote controlled timeable solar lighting. And so that really fixes the light issue. Another issue people run into is that their birds are stressed, whether it is crazy changes in temperature or there's a predator hanging out nearby, or there's drama within the flock. Uh, so um, I've noticed that when it gets really, really cold, when previously it's been pretty mild, they'll stop laying for a few days. I don't know if it just stresses their bodies out or what, they're trying to acclimate, but uh, that happens every now and then. But obviously a predator will stress them out, they'll stop laying, or if you've ordered your quail online and they ship to you, they will, if they were laying before they were shipped to you, you might find a few eggs in a box and they might lay for a few eggs after that but or a few days after that but then they might stop laying for a while just because of the stress of being shipped around the country or wherever they're going and so uh, another reason this is really the last reason that i am super aware of is that your feed mix isn't correct so quail are a game bird they need a higher protein content and it's hard for me to find that in my location uh, i was using kind of like a, a wild bird starter which was like 26% protein. I know you're really not supposed to go below 25, you know, 30 is optimal, 28 to 30. But I've always had my quail on that 26% protein starter and they've done very well. They laid regularly for me. That has since disappeared from my tractor supply. So I'm trying to source somewhere else, but for now they're on 20% starter, which is a pretty uh, big jump below 26. But they were still laying pretty regularly. I wasn't getting the, as much output as I was getting when they were on the 26% but um, the 20% did okay in a pinch. And so um, that's what I have them on right now. And uh, right now I have the lights off on them because I wanna give them a break here over the winter because I was getting tons of eggs throughout the summer, throughout the fall. And then we also have chickens on the other side. They're in a chicken tractor and they're laying eggs for me regularly and I have a light on them and they haven't been laying that long. So I figured I'll give the quail a rest. Um, but as you can see, They're loving life. The cold doesn't bother them really at all, I don't think. And uh, yeah, they're doing pretty well out here in this weather. They're doing much better than I would. I hate being out here in the cold, huh? The boys aren't picking on them as much because the light haven't, hasn't been on them. So there hasn't been a much, as much crowing, if any at all. And no, you do not need a rooster in order for your quail to lay eggs. That's not a reason why they wouldn't be laying. Um, so they're either not enough light They've been spooked and stressed. Their feed mix isn't 100% correct or they're just not at egg laying age. Usually it takes six to eight weeks and it varies. Uh, some of my birds were late layers and they didn't start till maybe nine or 10 weeks, but usually six to eight weeks they'll start laying. Um, but that pretty much covers all the reasons why your quail wouldn't be laying eggs. And so, like I said, I have them on break. They've been enjoying the winter, just chilling out here in the freezing cold. But uh, yeah, and so if you guys have any other questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know how your quail are doing. Are they laying you any eggs? Did you just get them? Um, this would be a rough time to get some baby quail uh, out when it's freezing cold like this. 
But I'm looking forward to spring, looking forward to hatching out more birds, starting all this process over again. Um, it's just a lot of fun to do. And so thank you guys again so much for watching. Social links are down in the description below. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Tyler Miller TV on both platforms. Make sure you subscribe for more videos here on the homestead. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.